everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got this really nice shadow box card and it's got a belly band and it's got two little kind of gatefold um, closure on the top here. And um, I think it's absolutely adorable. So you just slide off the belly band like so. And then as you open it up, bring it up, it reveals this really very pretty, little bit different for me. I love this style, this real kind of shabby chic, and I've used these dried, I'm dried, I've used these paper flowers um, and the doily and stuff. So it's again, very straightforward. And all these papers are from Nature's Grace um, by Dovecraft. And yeah, I just think it's really lovely. So we've got Mother's Day literally days away. So this is um, a Mother's Day one, but the one I'm gonna be making is a happy birthday one. So it just closes up. Obviously this stands up perfectly, so that's how it would be. Um, you know how it would be displayed and then you just close it all up so this is your envelope um, and that just sits over the top how lovely is that so it's a really nice special card so I'll pop that to one side so you're going to need all these bits and pieces here so this is the let me grab because that is the paper I'm using today because I've already scored that so this is the paper pack Again, I'm getting lots of good use from this. You get so many sheets, 36 sheets. I've used loads, but I still feel like I've got tons and tons and tons. Um, and yeah, Dovecraft. So again, share all those links. I just pop that to one side. Okay, so I am using this kind of mustardy yellow one. Got all my bits and pieces. A lot of it's all prepped. And then these are all the flowers. I don't know how or where I'm going to put them all yet. I've already done, again, I've done all the bits that I think you don't need to watch me. But I just die cut this one. Um, I die cut the, because um, this is a slightly darker purple. This is the belly band strip. Again, I'll talk through that in a minute. But I've already done all of this in preparation. So, and this is going to be the happy birthday. All of these bits are the matching, um, like, accessories. So this is the sticker set, which is these um, foam stickers. Um, really, really lovely. So I've used them on a few bits. I use these also on the sweet wrapper gift box that I used. I use that um, and the papers. And then these flowers, I just think are just so cute. And I've put some little sequins on there as well. So you can do whatever you want there. These here, I picked up from Any Crafts a Pound website. And they were, I think 25p each. And you get, 30 in each pack. So I'm going to use a gold one, um, the same as what I did before. Um, but I love doilies. I've got lots of white ones, but I hadn't had any in the silver or the gold. And um, yeah, they're just absolutely gorgeous and great for cards. So pop those ones back in there. Do that all a bit better in a minute. And then, like I said, there's the silver ones there as well. And they're just really lovely. So again, I'll share all the links to that. So let's go through what you are going to need. So one sheet of 12 by 12 is gonna give us our main shadow box. So this on its own, once I talk through it, is a lovely gift and I've done, um, I've done a photo frame and I've done the gift box for it with a shadow box. And I'm not sure if I've done a tutorial. I did do a beautiful gift for a friend. Um, it might have been before my YouTube actually. I think it was, um, but I'll show you again what we do there. Then you need, um, I've got the same paper, so I've, I've cut into now another piece of the 12 by 12 to give me these four, so yeah, because I've stuck these ones already down, so you need four of two and three quarter by five and three quarter pattern paper, okay, and then you need two pieces of three and three quarter by six, because the whole width of the shadow box is six by six. And these are our two kind of doors that are going to open up, like so. And then from the same card that I cut this purple out from, was from a sheet of 12 by 12, you then need one piece of 12 by one, and this is for our belly band, okay? And then obviously whatever it is that you're going to have. The background, the biggest die that I cut, is the same colour as the belly band. Okay, but again, it will all make sense as we go along. So it's, again, it's a very easy project. Lots of bits to it, but it's not hard. So I'm going to flip it over so you can hopefully see the score lines a bit better there. Some very easy scoring. First of all, you're going to score at, let's get this line, there we go, three quarters of an inch, one and a half inches, two and a quarter, and three. Then go all the way across and score at nine, nine and three quarters, ten and a half, 
and 11 and a quarter. Then rotate and score again at three quarters of an inch, one and a half, oh, two and a quarter, and three, and then again at nine, nine and three quarters, ten and a half, and eleven and a quarter. Okay, then go back again to the original score lines that you've done, and you want to score again at three and three quarters, but just down to the second score line. So you're going past the first one down to the second, and then score again at eight and a quarter, again past that first score line and down to the second. So let me now just bring this up to the camera. And there you can see, this is that. So you've got one, two, three, four full score lines. The fifth one, you're just scoring past the first down to the second score line. And then go along, and you can see again here, you've got one, two, three, four, and then that other one just down to the second score line. You then want to repeat that down on the opposite side. So that's where we've just scored. Rotate it right the way around, so you've now got the opposite end up here and just score again at three and three quarters down to the second score line and eight and a quarter down to the second score line. Okay, that's all about scoring. We'll burnish it in a minute. Then with these two purple pieces here, so these are your three and three quarters by six. You want to score along the three and three quarter inch side at three quarters of an inch, just all the way down at three quarters of an inch. Okay, so that's all of the scoring done. So now just burnish both of your purple pieces, you have two, or whatever colour you're using, you have two of those. Get rid of the scoreboard. Okay, so now we can carefully burnish all of this. Now this is just a strong paper because it's reinforced and it's a 3D box, um, cube box kind of thing that we're making. Um, even this kind of paper is perfect for it because it, it does become very strong. So, um, but even a good cardstock is good as well. So I'm just going along and just burnishing all of those score lines. You can't do the little score line. That is actually just a, a gauge, a guide for us to cut down. Um, so come to that one in a minute. So now get yourself a good pair of scissors. I've got my snip, my snip kind of ones here. And I'm going to flip it over because you can see all those burnished score lines now. Now what we want to do is along... Let's actually start. So start along the side where you don't have those little score lines. So that's my little ones that go down past that first and then to that second score line. You want to start along the side that doesn't have that, okay? So what you're going to do is you will have one, two, three, and four. On that fourth score line in from the left-hand side, you want to cut all the way down. Now I'm cutting slightly off to the right-hand side. So I'm removing the bulky score line, I'm not having it in there. So that the bulkiness is on this side that I'm going to be cutting away. Okay, and then rotate it around this way. And again, come in. So one, two, three, onto the fourth score line now from the left hand side. And just cut all the way down. I'm doing this so it's easy for you to follow. There are other ways to cut it, but I want to make this really, really simple. So all we're doing there is removing that whole quarter. So again, come to the next piece now, and now you know what you're doing. Basically, it's that whole large square with all these little squares inside. Okay, so again, I'm going to cut all the way down. And then I just remove the score line. It's that one, go around to the next side. And even though you've scored on these pieces, they're still good for your scrap drawer because you can still use it to die cut like flowers and stuff or like detailed pieces because a lot of those score lines get flattened once they're run through your die cutting machine. So if you are one of those people that likes to keep all your bits and pieces, you can still use these. Okay, so now you should have that effect, okay? Now the ends where, or the sides, sorry, where we've got this extra little score line that we cut, what you want to do now is cut down it. Again, I'm cutting, so I'm cutting the left-hand side here, but I'm cutting um, that score line out again. So you wanna cut down to the second. That's one, two, cut down. And then you're gonna cut across on an angle to the next one. So here we've got, this first score line here, second score line here, third and fourth. 
You're cutting down to where you scored. So there's my one. If I flip it over, you'll probably see it a bit better. No, stick to this side. So you're cutting down. You're then just going to cut right across to the top of that last score line here. So one, two, the third one. So again, I'm going to go down and do it close up here. So here is that score line, cutting down, okay, like so. And then I'm cutting right across. Let me just get it so it's easier. There we go. So I'm going to cut right across on a nice straight angle there, right to the top. Get rid of that a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now that is the shape we want to have. So I'm going to do that again, close up so you can see. So again, there's those two score lines, one there and one there. Cut all the way down like so. And then just cut right across like that. Nice and neat because this will be the corner of your shadow box. And then again, right across like so. Now, a little tip, if you've made shadow boxes before and you're always worried, you maybe don't get your corners matching up so well, always use a pretty patterned card or paper, something that's got lots going on on it, because believe it or not, that will cover up all those little kind of things that maybe you can see, but certainly whoever you're giving it to wouldn't see it. If you were using just plain, that's when you just notice all those kind of little mistakes. Whereas if you use something that's heavily patterned, you will struggle to, or you know, whoever you're giving it to will struggle to find that. So, little tip there. So I'm just going to move all my corner scraps so I don't get them mixed up. Now we need to put this all together. Really, really easy. First of all, I'm going to stick the two completely straight edges down. So what you want to do is just turn it over, and you're going to apply glue to the bottom kind of um, piece. That's last, uh, you know, <laughs> I can't even talk properly. This piece here, this last, where the score, last score line is, all of that area, okay? Then fold it in half so you've got two and two, like so, all right? Completely in half. Make sure you don't get any glue on you. Pinch the end here that's got no glue on it and you've got the under piece and fold the whole thing over again, right down nice and flat. And that will give you a perfect like um, long kind of cube that we're gonna have. And just spread that down, all that glue, spread it all out. If you lie it flat and you can't push it completely down, it's because you haven't got it completely joined up underneath. So that piece we've glued is now down here, stuck down. You can see that I've got a perfect square. Okay, so it's just a good way to make sure that you're gluing it perfectly each time. So again, I'll just show you what I've done. Putting my glue all along like so. And again, shadow boxes, they're, they're, they're really nice to make, but I do read a lot that people, you know, just don't always get in a perfect kind of um, finished look. And I think if you just do all these little kind of bits, so again, folding it completely in half, just pinch those two bits together and then fold the whole piece over and then just burnish that all. And just yeah doing these little bits just help along the way and then just bring that up and now I've got two really nice sides coming together there of that um, shadow box so now I'm going to do this end here so exactly the same this bottom piece I'm going to put all my glue like so okay and you're going to do exactly the same thing, but obviously this time we can't fold it right over, but to make sure that you get it right in place where it should go, it's easier to do it this way. So ooh, if I just kind of start to bring it up, and as you do, you need to, as I'm bringing that round, the bottom of this piece where we put the glue needs to line up with the very last score line here. So the top of these is where you want the, the bottom of this to sit. So you can see there, if I fold that, see now it's like that, okay? As you bring it round, it's gonna slide up and then sit along this bit here. 
So it's lining up with that score line and then as you bring it over, you want to push it against this back bit. You can feel it, I can feel that I'm pushing it against this back so that means it's nice and flat and then I can sit it down. Once you've sat it down, push it all together and you can see you're getting nice joins, then lie it flat. And again, just run your bone tool over. And just make sure you've got perfect angles. If that was now coming off wonky down here, you know it's not in the right place. And you'd have to then just kind of quickly try and take it back off again. So that one's done. I'm just going to leave that like that for the minute until we go back to the next bit. So again with this one. Again, sorry if I'm kind of, I don't know, maybe I'm not making sense with it all. I'm just trying to... Again, just find the easiest ways to do this. So again, this very edge here is going to line up with that score line there. So again, fold it in half, bend it over, and then as you do, start to form the square, keeping it... Keeping it pushed back against that bit there, and then it will come down flat. Again check that you've got nice angles here when it's all together and then push the whole thing down. Like so. so. It's just doing it all in stages. Then what we need to do is on an angle put a little bit of glue just on the edges there. So you can see I've just put some glue on a little kind of on an angle. So again here like so. Okay. Then what you want to do is lift this up, but bring them out as you lift this up, and then once you can hook them under, bring it all in. Don't worry if the glue kind of comes up a bit like that. And then play around, make sure you've got it all in place, and just hold it there. Rub, out in, rub away any of that excess glue and just hold it in place until it all sticks down. Okay. Again, this glue is pretty quick, but you don't want to pull this one out until that is all in place. So just kind of make sure that's completely stuck down, because if I go and pull these out slightly now, they're going to pop out. So in fact, while that's just drying, I'm going to stick my doily perfectly in the middle here. I mean, it's just fluke that this doily is the perfect fit. Um, so. I just had them there and I thought, oh, these are going to work perfectly, especially with this um, paper pack. Like so. Now, yeah, I think that one's okay. So again, you want to put some glue just on the edges, a little triangle shape. And then again, pull them out slightly. And as you do, this will come up and then you can hook them back underneath again. You can see now, just play around making sure that you get a nice corner and you can move it again it's good using this some people use red tape i have used red tape before but once it's stuck i've ruined projects with it because once that red tape is stuck down that's it there's no going back whereas with this you can see i keep i can go into it and just keep moving it around until i'm happy so i'm just going to make sure this is all okay, stuck down so now you can see how nicely that's all joined together those corners. Okay. So pop that to one side. Now grab, you've got these two of these. So I've already done this one, so that's going to be my left hand one. Put my DSP there, and then as you open it up, I've got my DSP there. So make sure whatever you're using has got um, the print is facing the right way up. So this is now going to be my right hand side little door. And I've already put my tape on the back here. So I'm just going to stick these both down. And again, the measurements I've given you will give you, once stuck down, will give you that little kind of one eighth of an inch. It's maybe slightly just under one quarter of an inch border. So you just get that nice deep purple, or again, whatever color it is that you're using. So stick it in there. Again, because this is the red tape, I need to make sure that it's all perfect. And then open it up that way as if I would when I was opening the card and then that one will stick in there. So just get this one down. So now well. these are going to sit over the top like so. Okay. And then open up 
like this. So on the insides here, you need to run down some tape. So I've put red tape, you can use the wet glue. Again, it will give you that wiggle room if you're a bit worried. But now what I'm gonna do, the best way to do it, so I'm just gonna decide which way, because I've got that nice, yeah, no, I'm gonna stick them. Oh, see, I like that as well. well you're gonna see it all, but I'm just trying to, no, I'll keep, that's gonna be the top, because I think the butterfly and stuff looks nice on the top. So this side here, stick this down first and make sure that it's nice and straight running along here and bring it right up until that score line when you bend it is hitting the side of that sh shadow box and once you're happy and stick it down and that way you know that it's perfectly lined up with the top and the bottom okay so again I'll do this side so that's going to go down like so just take this off Okay, make sure it's all up the right way. So again, sit it down so it's coming, you know, right off at the minute and then pull it all the way down, keeping it between your index finger there until that, that burnished score line hits the edge, making sure both of them are all lined up and then stick it down. And there you have a really cool card. Absolutely love this. So good. So now we can do the belly band. So this is your sheet of 12 by uh, one inch. Sit this over the top of it. I'm not scoring it, I'm just going to fold it around because I think it's easier that way. So it doesn't matter if it's not right in the middle yet because you're obviously going to be sliding it on and off. But you want to make sure you've got an even amount roughly on each side. Bring one up like so and then the other side up and around and just loosely pinch them so you've got that score line and then whatever it is that you're having on top needs to join because obviously the whole the 12 by 12 doesn't doesn't join doesn't wrap all the way around and join up together so whatever it is that you are have die cuts whether it's a nice square circle or in my case this shape here when I stick it it will stick the whole thing together so all I need to do is put some glue at the end there and at the end there or you can glue the ends of the actual belly band it's entirely up to you and then just stick that again making sure it's in the middle like so okay and just kind of hold that in place for a minute make sure the glue obviously isn't going over and sticking onto this I can see mine hasn't I didn't go that high but I can keep just sticking that down and then I'm just going to slide it off carefully. And now I know that that's all in place. I can just apply lots of pressure on it. And spread out any of the glue there. Like so. And now you can pinch all of those little score lines better. So you get a really nice straight line. And it just means now every time you put that on, it will fall into place easier. So now that's all done. And now the decoration. Now I don't know, this is a happy birthday one because I've already stuck that on the belly band. But in terms of like um, personalising it, I don't know if I want to for this one. So I'm only going to do a little bit of decoration. I don't want to do too much so that when I do decide who I'm going to give it to, I may want to personalise it. So this one's obviously got mum because this is going to be the Mother's Day one. But I want to show you the flowers. So I've run out of the large dark purple. I need to get some more, but I have got the little ones here. And I've got this lovely one here. But again, I don't know if I want to use that. I think the darker one. And then these little like light ones there. See, that looks really pretty. I've also got this fabric one here and I've got the stickers. So I've just had my heat gun heated up now. So I'm going to pop some glue on the back of the big one. And I'm just going to really push it into the corner there. So I'm just bending it and everything because I want it really snug. Like, so if I bring that up now, it's really pushed into that corner. And then the darker one. And just stick next to it. And just build it up. I mean, you could fill the whole thing with flowers. And you could have your sentiments and stamped mats on the side panels there. So... There are so many ways to decorate it. This is just to give you, again, a little bit of inspiration. Um, that one, I think this is a fabric one. So I think I'm gonna stick that one 
in the top left hand corner because then when it comes to decorate it that's you know I'm um, sorry personalize it that's going to be really quick um, but I you know get this done now while I've still got these flowers because they match perfectly and again a little bit of glue on this dinky dinky one try not to burn my finger oh caught it a little bit there there we go so I just bring that up now you can see what I've done there and then to kind of now start bringing it to life more these lovely stickers I've got all these little butterflies and birds and things like that so I'm going to use this butterfly sticker I'm actually going to put on top of the flower at the top there so I'm going to put a bit more glue oh gosh I put that right on my nail <laughs> fortunately it's not gone through to my skin so I'm just going to sit that right over that flower get rid of my little glue stringy glue bits and then I did like the way I used this was going to put this bird down on the other one but I quite like having it like, yeah I think I'm going to stick him right down like so. so I've still got room for my sentiment if I can bring that up you can see so I've got a cluster of flowers there I think what I'm going to do is maybe put a few little um, diamantes or something on there I could maybe even add that little flower down there no, I don't like that one there. No, I think that's enough for now. I can always add to it if I want to. It's just to really give you guys an idea. But there you have it. So that is now all ready to personalise. I could die cut a circle, um, you know, two size circles so I've got a nice border and have a little sentiment. Again, just saying happy birthday. If you want to write your message, what I would say is on the back here, put some white card, just die cut a square, stick it there, and that's when you can write to and from. Um, but this is just meant to be quite a decorative style to sit um, up on the mantel or the bedside and again stick my belly band on and there you have it so not hard at all it's just getting the sticking um, of all your edges really on that um, shadow box the actual you know putting all this together in the decoration is very very easy so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial from me today. Please hit the thumbs up if you did and subscribe to the channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.